So I know your time is precious, but this is important too. We're going to go to Google Drive and you're going to open up a new folder. That new folder needs to be titled AP Portfolio and then you should also include your name. So I'm just doing this as an example. Hit Create and then within that folder, go ahead and click on that folder, you're going to create all these additional folders. So for each work of art, you're going to create a new folder. And you should have 15, so you're going to be titling that first one like artwork number one. And then you're gonna to continue to do that until you have 15 artworks. So it represents each piece that you do, whether that's a painting or a drawing or a speed, whatever it is, you have 15 works of art there and keep repeating this process until you have 15. Next, you're going to go within each folder and create subfolders. So in every artwork, you need to have a progress shot folder, so progress shots, process shots, which is different, thumbnail sketches, and then you're going to need to have a finished work, or finished piece and then you lastly need to have a written paragraph for each work so that's what you're going to do um, make sure that after you've created this you actually start to fill in your first artwork so you should have artwork one with the finished piece the progress shot the process shots the thumbnail sketch and the written paragraph same for artwork two and you should really be on artwork three at this stage and then I'm going to need you to share your AP portfolio with me. To share it, you just need to scroll down. And it's the part where it says who has access. You need to click that and manage access. And then you can type in my email, so slam at fcusd.org. So I know this seems like a lot, but this is how AP wants it organized, and this will help you with the AP exam. So regardless of whether you're taking the AP exam, you still have to do all this grunt work. This is kind of what you need to do in order to, to prepare for an art show anyway.